So let's start off by setting up our CSV file. Click on Megasign and then click on this link here, Import Recipients and Merge Fields from File. Then download the sample CSV file. And this file can be opened in Excel. And this is where I'm going to add all the email addresses of the recipients that I'm going to send the document to. So this is the header row and this area contains the data. Column A, the email column, is the only one that's mandatory for completion. You can ignore or even delete all the other columns, but column A must be populated with the recipient's email addresses and it must have this header information. So here's a sample CSV file that I've completed for this demo. I removed all columns except for the mandatory column A and this agreement message column, which allows me to enter a custom message for each email sent to each recipient. And I'm just going to add one more email address. And you'll note that I'm just using four email addresses for this demo, but you can enter 10 or 100 or as many as you need. But note that you must have a minimum of two emails and you cannot enter the sender's email address because that will result in an error. When you've finished editing the CSV file, make sure that you save it before you use it in the Megasign transaction. So now I'm ready to set up and send the Megasign transaction. I click on Megasign on the dashboard and then click on Import Recipients and Merge Fields from File and then click Upload and I'm going to select the CSV file that I just saved with the four email addresses and click Open and then I'm going to add a document name as I do with all transactions and then upload the document that I'm going to send out. Now at this point, I could click send and the system will automatically add a signature block and send a separate instance of the document to each recipient for signing. But I want to manually add fields to the document, so I'm going to check this box and then click next. So now I'm going to add the fields that I need to my document. and I'll click send when I'm done. And now an instance of the document is sent to each recipient in the CSV file. And if I want to check the status of my Megasign transaction, I can do that on the Manage tab under Out for Signature. So each recipient receives an email like this. And here is the customized message that I included in the CSV file. And all the signer has to do is go through the standard signing procedure, click on the link and sign the document. As each recipient completes the signing, I receive back an individually signed copy of the document from each person.